Hello, everybody. Come on in, guys. Mr. Beck is going to have to send out a telegram. It's going to be a little late, but we'll get one sent out. So if you are not here right now, you will be in a minute. Oh, wait, you are here, or I wouldn't be talking to you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Come on in, guys. <laughs> Let me get this brought up here. Hello, hello, everybody. Hey, come on here. Hello, my friends. Hello, Luella. How are you, girlfriend? How's my friend doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. Randy, will you please send out a telegram? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Come on in, guys. Hello, Mary. How are you? Come on in, sister girl. Come on in. So how's everybody's day been today? Hello, Renee. How are you, girlfriend? How's my girlfriend doing? Hello, Miss Deb Worley. Hello, hello. Hello, Jeannie. How are you, girly? I hope everybody's having a good day. Hi, Renee. Hello, Yolanda and Janice and Sheila. How's everybody doing? Hello, hello. Hello, Miss Mariana. Hello, Gloria. Come on in, everybody. There's Arla. Hello. Hello, Diana. Hello, Miss Nancy. Hello, Dorothy and Renee. You're working on your ladybug. Yay! I'm so excited. Y'all see that ladybug right over there? Let me show you. Let me move this just a tad and show y'all. See that ladybug? That's what we did in our subscription group last night. Y'all might want to join. That's one of the kits that we have. I'll show it to you guys. This is one of our kits that we had in our subscription group. Look how sweet, you guys. Awful cute. Awful cute. So next, when Randy starts advertising in the subscription group, you guys might want to join. You might want to join. Hello, Miss Barb. How are you? Watching your sermon. All right, sister girl. We'll be here when you get back. Thank you, Dorothy, for sprinkling. Hello, Terry. I'm so glad you're here, sister. Yay. Hello. Hello, Mariana. Please say a prayer for my friend who just lost her baby girl. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Maria. We will pray. Yes, we will, girlfriend. Bless your heart. Hello, Terry. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Marsha Pouncey. Working on yours, too. Well, boy, we just got the whole place working on ladybugs. <laughs> That's awesome, you guys. That makes me happy that you guys like them enough that you're going to work on them. That makes me happy, happy, happy. You love the ladybugs? I do, too, Miss Dorothy. Hello, Bonnie. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Renee. Thank you guys for praying. I appreciate that. Y'all don't know what that means to a person when you say those prayers. Those prayers mean so much. Hello, Matt. Hello, Mary. Matt and Carolyn from Texas. Hello, Matt and Carolyn. How are you doing tonight? Hello, Kim. Thank you, girlfriend. This is one of the Bell Lily Tops, you guys. I've had this one for quite a while. I'm still kind of uncomfortable showing my shoulders, y'all. But it's okay. We're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. Hello, Jean. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> Thank you, Ellie. It's one of the Bell Lily ones, you guys. It's on my Bell Lily tab if you guys are interested in it. My nose is itching, y'all. Hi, Fran. How are you? Thank you, sister. Hello, K. Brock. How are you? There's my friend, D. Lee. Hello, girlfriend. Y'all, tonight we are going to work on this cute birdhouse. We're going to make it even cuter. I think it's absolutely adorable. But we're going to work on it and fix it up and make it super pretty. There's Judy Davis. Miss Judy, I'm going to be praying for you, girl. I didn't know you had surgery yesterday. Hello, Nicola. How are you? Welcome in, guys. I'm so glad everybody's here. All right, you guys, we're going to get busy. We're going to get busy. I have company tonight, you guys, so I got to get busy so that I can hang out with my company. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Well, my granddaughters are over, y'all, so I'm going to spend some time with her as soon as we're done here. I heard that, Melva. He told me he met you this morning. I think that's awesome. I was with Whitney today, so I didn't... Uh, I didn't have breakfast with him today. We were, uh, Whitney and I were in Martinsville and we were hanging out this morning with uh, the grandbabies. So, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I'll be there in a second. He said he'll be here in a second, y'all. <laughs> Hi, Christy. How are you? Hello, Michelle. Hello, Sherry. There's Monroe. Hello, Monroe. All right, y'all. We are going to, I know as bad as I hate to, y'all, I'm painting this tin. We're going to paint the tin. And I know you guys are thinking, are you, have you lost your mind? But no, I've got an idea, you guys. We've got an idea here. There's my friend Roly-Poly. Hello, Mary. You want to see Timu? Well, I have Timu, you guys. I do have some Timu orders. And no, I don't have it. 
I haven't gotten it yet. No, I haven't got it yet. I do have an order in. I'm waiting for it to get shipped, you guys. As soon as it gets shipped and gets here, I'm going to show it to y'all. But right now, I don't have any Timu yet. But we will have soon. We will have soon, y'all. Nope, I haven't been in the pool yet, you guys. We're waiting for it to heat up. But you guys, guess what? I think I'm going to have to buy a new pump for it. I think my pump went out on me today. Randy was running the pump and just kept making sure that it was cir uh, circulating and everything was working well. And my pump went kaplooey, I think, y'all. But it's okay. It's an old one. We'll run and get us a new one if we need to. I hate to, but you got to do what you got to do. And if I want my pool to be clean, I don't want to be uh, running around in an old green water. I think maybe I should get a pump. Hello, Dreama. How are you? Hello, Cynthia and Marsha. <laughs> That's funny, Melva. <laughs> he probably thought, well, what's going on? <laughs> he probably wasn't even thinking about being on Facebook. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> He probably thought, wow, <laughs> that is too funny. Yeah, we, Whitney and I try to get together when we get together. Randy usually don't want to be around because she has little ones, and, and they still like to cry and throw fits when we go places and stuff, and Randy don't like that. <laughs> yeah, ours is, I think ours was at 70-something. Randy, what was the water at, the temperature? 78. 78, you guys. That's almost warm enough to get in, I think. I think I'd almost get in You can probably get in it now. I think I'd almost get in it. We, I did get a uh, a heat blanket and no, a... It's uh, a pool cover. It's, it's a pool cover, and uh, it has, like, the... It's supposed to help heat the water, too, y'all. I'm not sure what you it's call black. it. It's black. But I got it on uh, Amazon where I got it. Oh, speaking of Amazon, I started saying... I everything I've ordered from Timu. Awesome. I can't Hi, wait to, see, to get mine, y'all. I ordered like almost $200 worth of stuff, so I hope it's good stuff. Yeah, That's what me I'm hoping. Too. If not, guess what? Randy probably won't let me order no more. Uh... No, he doesn't care what I buy, y'all. He doesn't care. It's just another way for me to shop, Now, what's this? Monroe Cummins says, you probably don't like it when Randy cries and has fits, too. Well, no, I don't it. like it when Randy cries and has fits, but I put up with it. No, I'm kidding. I was telling them that you don't like mm -hmm. to hang out with us, me and Whitney and the little girls, because they cry and have fits still. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and they do, let me tell you. Oh, man. Oh, Susan. They're handfuls, but we love them. We love them so much. Little Phoebe, you guys, was funny today. She wanted to hold on to Nana with all her might. She did not want me to get out of the way. She wanted to hold on to me. Phoebe. Yeah, she was in the car at Walmart. And she kept going, hold you. I hold you. And I said, no. She Here. wanted to hold me. Okay, let's see. What color was we going to use? Were we going to use mineral? There's no, we weren't. We were going to use the other men more, weren't we? Yes, this one right here. All right, you guys. I have this mineral this? paint, you guys. Is this, this is from Dixie box? Bell. No, that opens the side of it so you can clean it out. Okay. This is called oh, uh, Chalk Let's Mineral Paint Burlap. It's a burlap color, you guys, and it is from uh, Dixie Belle. It's a Dixie Belle paint. We're going to use that on the body of this. I'm just going to go ahead Best and do my painting. Before my and granddaughter away. comes out to change my bandages and listen to her tell me, I have to watch what I am doing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Is everything straight out of China just another way they are taking over our country? Get rid of TikTok too. If you have it, they can access everything about you. <laughs> Brenda Howe, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you like I've told everybody else. How many things that you buy in the U.S. that is made in China? A lot. You hardly ever find anything that's American made anymore. It's so kinda... whether it's, it's being sent from China or whether somebody else is buying it from China and sending it in, it's getting in here anyway. So it doesn't really matter how we do it. Guys, it's like this. Sam Walton wrote a book. Said it's called Made in America. Go to his stores and see how many things are made in America. Nothing's in hardly ever store. made in America anymore. Hello, Sandra. I mean, there are a few Hello, things, but I can Rosie. promise you, each one of you have something that's in your house that's made from China. Oh, yeah. Each one of you. There is no possible way you can buy everything out of the U.S. Way. made. Uh -huh. Hello, Kendra. Washington from Northwest Indiana. Cute shirt, says Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. I appreciate you. It Thank is you a so shame, much. guys, but... It's a dirty shame. I mean... 
That, you know, that's just, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's a horrible truth, but it is the truth. No matter where you go or what you do, you're going to end up with something that's made from China. Just about everything's made in China. And that includes our vehicles. That includes parts for our vehicles. That includes clothing. I mean, pretty Even much everything, you guys. Unless a company makes it right here, designs it and makes it, it's probably got some form in the material. The material's probably I I got that that's made. We're just going to travel that right on up there then. People can build things here, but the materials to build things actually probably come from China. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's it's just, you can't get away from it. In Bangladesh, is Monroe. Hello, yep. Carla. So no matter, you know, I mean, I could try my best not to do it, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to end up Vicky, doing it anyway. We will keep your husband in your prayers. He's got open heart surgery oh, in 16 Yes, years. for sure. For sure. Yeah, it, it is... If we've got the materials and the knowledge to make the stuff here. Well, just like a lot of our companies went to China, overseas, you know, or Mexico but, or wherever, you know. Honestly, Americans, no, I can't say all, a lot of Americans don't want to work. Well, that's about the truth. But now there's a lot that do, so we can't really say anything there. That's why a lot of Walmarts quit carrying away with the paint and they would tell Lobby because it's made in China. Yes, oh, yes, that's what I'm saying. It's cheaper labor, yeah, it's cheaper. Yes, you're right. We are the change, but. Hello, Suki. Hi, Suki. How are you, girlfriend? It is true, we could be the change, but it takes more than one person. And, you know, I mean. Oh, I mean, it's just. That's just a terrible truth. That's just the way it is. But I'm just thankful that our country is still free. I don't know how free, but it still is. Let's just hope it remains that way for a while. I can't believe that years ago I was shopping at my brother-in-law's Air Force Base and the shirt I was buying at the commissary and made in the Yes. Bay my son was oh. telling me the same thing out of the Navy base. Carla. A lot of your things are not made in America. That's in the Navy base. Carla, I can do that. I read your... I read it. I didn't get back to you, but I did read it. And I will do that for you. Purple my son. Is it my care... Is my tear kicker and he just broke his arm. I'm oh, no. Says Claire. So sorry, sweetheart. Yes, we'll be praying. I'm really sorry, you guys. I hate that. You know, we've all got so many things going on in our lives. It's always something. And I really hate that people have the things going on that they do because life can be cruel sometimes. And it can be very hard. I'll tell you what's sad is when you go to buy a flag from the United States and there's a little tag on it that says made in China. That is sad. <laughs> it's like that all, all over. Do you know how much land China owns in the United States? I can't understand what you're saying, Beth, but if we can stop some things, it's a start. Love your hat, says Brenda. It is true. It is true. If we can stop some of it, it's a start. But, y'all, I'm telling you right now, if it, it will never stop, y'all. I'm telling you that right now. On account of people are so far, a lot of people don't have a lot of money. And when it's easier to purchase something like that through oh, Jennifer, places oh, that you can't afford... Because I've heard a lot of creators, you know. I've heard right here on, on Facebook, you guys, I've heard a lot of the creators say, I can afford Timu. I can't afford some of the other prices that they're, they're trying to charge. And, and I mean, let's just be honest about it. That's just how it is. And it's sad that it has to be that way. Oh, Laura. Oh, 
Oh, Janet. Okay. Do I have it all? No, I don't. Okay. It's on around. And I'm going to put hey, another coat on here after I'm done here, y'all. That's an outhouse. That's not an outhouse. That is a bird house. Don't even look like an outhouse, you silly goose. <laughs> a lot of RXs are made in China. Yes, they are. They're hard to get. That's exactly right, Buzzy. Oh, Carol. That's exactly right. Oh. Well, Carol Johnson and then Carol Churchman. Hello. Well, we just got all kinds of Carols, don't we? That's a good name. Okay, you guys. I think I've got one coat of this burlap on here and we're gonna have to go back and put a second coat because I can kind of see the wood. Paint. It's called burlap. The name of the Crusty's paint is called burlap. Crusty's plant in Effingham is offered $19 an hour for work. Can't get people to even apply. Ridiculous. And, that, and that's the truth, you guys. That is the, that's the truth. People do not want to work for small amounts anymore. And I know $19 isn't a small amount, but everybody's wanting to make $30 and $40 an hour. Lord, I don't even make that. I know there's a lot of people that don't make that. Uh, that is from Woodie Bend, I believe. That paint. No, 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 no. Dixie that paint Bell. is Dixie Bell. My bad, Wanda. The paint is Dixie Bell. It is on my link tree under Poppies and Pansies. Oh, Debbie. Oh, it's under Lord. Poppies and Pansies, you guys, on the link tree. This is a Dixie Dixie Bell paint. No, uh, there is no paint from Woody Bend, babe. The only paint that I get from Woody Bend is my uh, metallic paste. Okay, I'm gonna give us another coat in the front here. This is the we need worst part of it, right? Joy, here. I would, I, that, that I would pay the price difference. What's that? She said there are many makers of American flags in the U.S., but are you willing to pay the price? Yes, for, for yeah, that we that, would. For that Absolutely. Would. Our son served this country, and, and that means something to us, you guys. And I know I that, thought about putting the flagpole up, but I haven't got around to it yet. It probably will be a while for that. So much to do. Well, darn it, I got that on that eve there. I did not mean to do that. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll go back and mess with it here in a minute. Guys, we're sorry we weren't live last night, but we were in our subscription group last night. We were doing ladybugs last night. We were having fun. Few of you join us last night. Oh, Carolyn, sure, Brian. Subscription group. Hi, Carolyn. Carolyn's one of them. Miss Carolyn, did you get your ladybug done? Okay. Back of this. We may be ready to go. No, we're not. Let me finish the back of this, you guys, and then we'll be ready to go to put, do something else to it here. Kendra Ross said, and they turned out so sweet. They did, Kendra. They sure did. All right, y'all. Let's dry this, you guys, and we are done with the paint for right now. You're done with the paint? For right now, I right said. Now. For right now. I think we'll be painting some more here in a minute. Thank you, darling. I think you're cute, too. Are you made in China? I think so. Let me see your tag. Actually, I was made in Martinsville. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. I think it is, girlfriend. You'll see. You guys are going to be shocked what we're going to do. You'll be shocked. It's going to be really cute. It's going to be different than my last one, you guys. I have a little bit of something, something going on here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. And we're going to start, in just a second, we're going to lay out what we're going to do on here and start putting oh, it. Oh, Pat. Oh, Pat, how are you? 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 Oh, Pat,
It's not appearing. Miss K, will you put the link tree up, sister? I think she's got it up there. It's already up there, you guys. It's already up there. Miss K's already. Hello, Marcia. Hello, Mindy. Just come on. Hope everyone's doing well. Hello, Sherry Now. Hello, Judith and Elda. Hello, Teresa from Missouri. Hi, Alva. Hello, Miss Teresa. All right, y'all, let me throw this in there. Okay, you guys, we are going to be using some Would You Bend. Okay, I'm going to lay that on its back. These pieces here are pieces that I have cut off of uh, other uh, pieces of Would You Bend to make them work for a certain item. So I've decided we're gonna use these on here. This is just like an extra piece. Y'all know I don't throw anything away. I always keep all my extras. And this is one of my extras that I had. And you can see where I, see these jagged area right there? I cut that one off of this one. We're gonna cut it off this one also. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Okay. Move that out of the way. <clears throat> we gotta heat this up. Get it good and soft. Thank you, Debbie. I know it's going to be tired more tonight. Uh, hey, I'm tired today, says Jennifer. Oh, Debbie. Oh, I'm not too bad, guy. I've just been... Got all the boxing done. Molly said, ask if you can make me with the wood Yes, Molly, I can. Take it for a Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I can make that. Margaret says, hello from Nova Scotia, Canada. A lot of sadness in our province. The forest fires, lots of homes burned. Oh, bless your heart. We'll be praying for you that, Sister Will. We'll be praying for that. Jennifer didn't sleep well last night. We neither did Miss Shayla. I didn't either, you guys. Every time, you know, I was talking to Whitney about it, you guys. Every time I have somewhere I have to be in the mornings, I do not sleep well at all. And I, Whitney says that she thinks I have anxiety. Because that would cause me to not be able to sleep well. Susan, is is good. No, I don't sleep very well at all. It's almost like I'm afraid I'm going to miss oh, a, no. an appointment, or I'm afraid I'm going to miss something. I don't know. But I think I might. I think Whitney might be right. I think I have anxiety. Uh, okay. We're just cutting these off, you guys. These little Regina jagged needs areas. Prayer. She fell at home on Memorial Day and fractured her ribs. Well, bless your heart. We'll pray for you, sister. Hello, Lisa. Okay. I'm going to kind of come around here and cut this one. I may need to heat this again. Nope, there it goes. Okay. All right. And as you guys can see, see how it's all jaggy, jaggedy and stuff? Okay, this one was the same way until I sanded it. See how you can sand that down and make it really smooth? That's what and I'm going to do with this one. Whimsical. Liz says she jacks it on seventy east of Effingham. Oh wow. Sorry, I know someone has already asked. Where did you find the birdhouse? The birdhouse came from the Goodwill, you guys. I paid two dollars and ninety nine cents for it. But they have birdhouses about this size at Walmart. I was looking today. They have an array arraignment of uh prices though. You can buy the more expensive or you can buy the least expensive. They have several different kinds. I myself would buy the least expensive because you can fix it up and make it look more expensive than what you pay for it. Uh, that's me too, because I'm so afraid of oversleeping. Tomorrow I have to be at my granddaughter's graduation at 9 a.m. She said, if I'm not there, I'm in big trouble. Yep, I would never sleep that day. I would never sleep that day for sure. Lynn, I want to go fishing too. Randy and I will be having a granddaughter graduate in about four years, you guys. I cannot believe that we are old enough to have grandchildren that are graduating. Who's that? I don't know. You tell me who it is. I don't know. What are our grandchildren? Jasmine. Uh, yeah, Jasmine's going to. She's only 10. She'll be graduating in four years. I know who it is. Okay. She's going to graduate valedictorian. Yes, yeah, she is. She's going to be smart just like her granny. Well. Don't you say a word. Not a word. Okay. Okay. Let me show you guys. See how I sanded that off? It's nice and sanded. We're going to put that right up against there, you guys. We're going to do it on both sides. It's going to be right up by that hole there. I'm going to 
put it right there just like that. And that's going to leave the hole open. See how that's going to be laying on there? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my wig glue, and we're going to get this on here, you guys. I'm not going to worry about heating it at first because... You know, let me see something here, you guys. Just give me a second. I am lazy. Turn that more that way. Mine's just graduating middle school. There we go. Who's, who's graduating middle school? Monroe's. Yeah, ours just graduated middle school this year. Miss Kylie graduated middle school this year, you guys. She's just growing up too fast. She needs to stop. She's making her granny old. I'm being nice, Marie. I'm always nice. She's making her granny old, you guys. She's got to stop. Let's try this again. Let's sit this way on my here. My granddaughter is graduating in two years. My oldest grandson is 26. And he and his wife are expecting my first great granddaughter. Oh, how nice. How nice. That's awesome. That's good to hear. I love that. I cut that piece a little short, but that's okay. We can fix it. We can fix it. Then Lee said. I'm going to go ahead and eat this up, y'all. I'm going to pop going to say how it's fixing to say. <laughs> there you go. Okay, he's got to go get some pie out of the oven. Ooh, there you go, girl. And I usually let this go, you guys, until it starts softening. And then oh, it's well, so already she's good. Yay, I'm so glad you do, girlfriend. See how it's starting to bend now, you guys? It's starting to get bendy. Once it starts getting bendy, then we can put it on there. Got my stuff here. Carolyn says, my oldest great-granddaughter will graduate in two years. Isn't that something? That's hard to believe, isn't it? Two years. They grow so fast, you guys. I can remember little Kylie when she was born. I mean, she made me a grandma, and honestly, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I was 40 years old when Kylie was born. It's hard to believe. Time flies, y'all. It flies, flies, flies. Okay, I'm going to kind of pull this back right here, and we're just going to kind of push that up against that. Monroe wants to know what kind of pie it is, because pie is your favorite. Pie is your favorite, Monroe? Now, no, see, I'm Karen. not... I like peach pie, and I like apple pie. That's about the only pies I like. Mine's blackberry. I'll I'm not much on cream pies. I, I'll eat them. Don't get me wrong. I'll eat them, but I'm not much on them. I would prefer to have a uh, apple or a peach. If I had Black my preference. Berry, okay. See how pretty that's going to be, you guys? It's going to be purtiful. 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 If I can get it to stay there, i got to hold it down there for a second because it's wanting to go back. Okay, I'm going to grab some water, you all, and I'm going to use my water and a brush to pull all of that glue off of there that's leaking out because you want to push really hard on it once you Kimberly get it there. Loves pecan pie. Who does? Pecan pie. I like pecan pie too. I usually don't like anything. Like I said, I usually like fruit pies. But I do like pecan. Pumpkins. Well, I want to go like mm. pumpkins. I can, I can take or leave pumpkin. Pumpkin's not my favorite. But, you know, hey. Hey, says, oh my gosh, I love the birdhouse. Can you make those? Thank you. Can you make what? These? I'm sure we could. Your glue's <laughs> dripping. But, oh, that's okay. I'll wipe it up. I'd rather do that and so it can be down at the end where I need it. That's why I turn it upside down. Uh, let's see, who asked about that? Karen, not, we've got a birdhouse on our website. It's bigger we than this one. Yes. It is a kit if you're interested in it. Okay, see how it's starting to bend, y'all? It's on our website, www.rekindleblessings.com. Okay. It's leaking really Ouch. bad. I'm getting ready to get it, babe. Okay. One sec. We'll cut just a little bit of this off here. Marsha. So I can move it back. I just buy the clear engine enamel, the high temp okay. engine enamel. Here we go, y'all. Some more glue. And you guys, a lot of people don't use their hands. You're they use a brush. Down. I find it easier just to use my hands and just kind of wipe it off as I go because... Jennifer likes coconut cream. Ooh, now those I like. Guys, I guess I do like more than just apple, don't I? 
Yeah, you do. There's not much that I don't like, though, you guys. I, I like food, period. You can tell by looking at me I do, you guys. <laughs> I love food. Are you laughing at Papa? You're going to get in trouble. He's mean to me, Kylie. <coughs> I wasn't supposed to say that. Was I? Okay, here we go. Okay, where'd my brush go? There it is. There's a fly. That's open over there, Randy. Go shut that, please. Oh, yeah, the big gate's open. For the, the gate? Man, you know, man. That's an awful big fly to come through that gate. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, and I'll show you guys here in just one second. Okay. Got most of my glue off there. Let me show you. See what we're doing, y'all? We're making it whimsy. We're going to make it whimsy. Do you have any grandsons? I don't have any grandsons at all, Terry, and I don't think I'll ever get one. Uh, all they want to give me is girls, but we'll keep them, I guess. Even though they're all ugly and mean, we'll keep them. Oh, hi. <laughs> How many markers did you buy today for the girls? I didn't buy any, Becky. None. I have a ton of them here at my house. So, I didn't buy any. I wanted to so badly because I love markers and all that good stuff. You've seen my video. Oh, my gosh. They took everything I had. Now, Whitney bought some. Whitney has a bad habit, just like her mother, of buying that kind of stuff. <laughs> Hotter than a well digger's butt. <laughs> That's funny. That is too funny, you guys. Okay, y'all. See it's how bendy it is? Okay, I'm put this on there. They are Margaret. They're all precious. Every one of them. I wouldn't trade them for nothing. I wouldn't trade them for five boys. I love my girls, but I really would like to have a little boy one day. But, you know, if I, if I don't get a boy, I'm very satisfied with what I have. I love my girls. My girls are precious, and I wouldn't trade them for anything. Well, now there's days, let me tell you. There's days. Especially when the little ones are super tired, and they're cranky, and, and they don't want nobody but mommy, but yet Nana has to carry them. Yeah, they're cranky. But I still wouldn't trade them. Cranky or not. No, they're all good little girls. I'm very blessed. Very, very blessed. Some of that off there. There we go. You guys, I, the reason I use my fingers is because it's just easier for me just to kind of run across there. And you can tell how even it is with your finger. A brush, you can't feel a brush. Okay, there we go. A little bit right there we need to get in there. There we go. Okay. Too far to go for pie. Yep, that's too far to go for pie. I agree with you, Monroe. It is. Okay, y'all, we're just going to kind of pull these down. We're going to put this right on this on these eaves, and I'm going to have to hold this for a minute, you guys, because if I don't hold it, it's not going to stick. It won't stick. So give me just a second. Let that, because we want this to dry or to cool off to where it stays right here on the eaves of this, just like this. Never cared what they were. Just wanted them to be healthy. Yeah, Marsha, I'm the same way. As long as my girls are healthy, that's all that matters to me. I'd like to have a little boy, though, because I had a son, my youngest, uh, Ryan. He was always his mama's boy, and he loved his mama like no tomorrow. I mean, I couldn't, I had to peel that boy off me. Even when he was in high school, he loved hanging with mom. Still do. And Randy said, You still do. <laughs> He's still my baby. But anyway, uh, I don't know. It's just fun to, to dress little boys and to play the things they play with is fun you know I just I just really enjoy little boys but our little girls are happy and healthy and that's all that matters Jennifer I'd love to come visit your little town I would love to come and visit your little town I bet your little town's cute all right y'all I'm just gonna kind of pull some of this uh, off of here the glue that dries up underneath there. Just a little bit of water on a paintbrush. And it's just gonna pull that right out of those crevices and off of the wood you bend. Because when we paint, we don't want dried paint on there, or gl glue. The glue will dry uh, clear, but you will still see it when you paint if you don't pull some of it off and thin it down. 
you have five sons and no daughters. Now, see, I had two daughters and two sons, and I was so blessed with that because they, we had equal amounts. And little boys are wonderful. Little girls can be little turkeys to one another. Our daughters fought like cats and dogs. Our boys, they'd punch it out, and they were done that day, but not the girls. They'd go on for a week about somebody wearing the other one's hair thing. I don't know if that's all girls or if it was just our girls, but... Actually, really, our kids were all pretty good kids. We didn't have much trouble with our kids. They listened really well when they were young. Okay. You'd love to have a granddaughter, too, Robin. I know. When you, I guess when you have one, you want the other. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Do you see where we're going with this? Look how gorgeous that is going to be. It's going to be pretty. And, y'all, this piece broke. But we're going to fix this piece to where we can put it on the very back there. See, that piece that we used is just like this one, y'all. But we pulled it downward. See how we pulled it downward? Just kind of pulled this down and made it like this. I'm going to kind of give this a... I probably should have did my napkin first. Then I'm going to put on this before I did that. That's okay. It's going to be Miss Molly. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to put a napkin on this roof. I have this beautiful napkin here we are going to put on the roof. That's why I painted the roof white. And I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, no, that's a tin roof. But it's going to be pretty, y'all. It's going to be pretty. Just give me a minute and, and let me work the, through the process here. You guys will see. Where do I find the wood you bend? Kimberly, it is on my link tree, sister. It is on my link tree. My, it, under my wood you bend tab. I'm just going to pull this loose, you guys, and usually there's three layers, sometimes only two. It just depends, but you want to definitely check it because this one had three. Let's that to the side. Where did the birdhouse come from? The bird, I got the birdhouse, Karen, at Walmart. Or not Walmart, I'm, I lied. I got it at the Goodwill. got it at the Goodwill. But the Walmart does have several birdhouses right now because it's that time of year. It's that time of year. All right, I am going to cut this in half, you guys, because I want to, I want my ends to be equal and I want my florals to look even on both sides. So I'm just going to use my water pan and go right down the center of this and cut this napkin. Under here. Thank you, Marsha. You're so welcome, Karen. Can't wait for the finished project. Oh, thank you, girlfriend. Y'all, I'll tell you what, not always. Sometimes things don't turn out the way I want them to, but... Most of the time, they turn out pretty good. It just depends. I just hope that it will turn out the way I want it to, or even close to the way I want it to turn out. Okay, we're just going to cut right down the center of this napkin. That way, we can kind of keep our sides even. We'll pull that like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right down the center. Of, do I want to cut down the center? Let me thank you all. Let me see how I want to do this first. Let me lay this up here. I don't think we're going to have to. I think we might be able to put it right on there. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to, y'all. I think we're going to be able to. Thank you. Thank you, Dina. I appreciate you, sister. All right, I'm going to lay this right here just like this. I'm going to come back here. Kind of touch this right through here. And then pull that right there. Okay, I'm going to write me a... Put me a straight line right down through there, y'all. And it may not be perfect, but it'll be close enough for me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Just like that. I'm, more, I'm doing business. Take care of business. Take I'm, care of business. Robin's got a phrase report. My daughter was approved for the rental home that her family was wanting. Oh, good. Praise God. That's so awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. God is uh, good, you guys. God is good. How do you fill those water pans? You just squeeze them, don't you? No, you can you oh, just okay. open them up. You just twist the end off and see there's a little thing right there, and you can put it down like a, in a glass of water, or you can run this under. Just squeeze it and run it under the faucet and the water and just kind of let loose, and it kind of has like a suction to it, and it sucks the water right in. Oh, Super Nancy, easy. all the way. Super easy. Thank you, Miss Kay. All right, y'all. Now I may have a little much off here. I don't know. Let's see. No, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and put this on here. I have a few things that I did not turn out like 
It was in my head, LOL, says Dan Lee. Dan Lee, sometimes they don't, sister. No matter how hard you try, sometimes they just don't. You guys, I put my Posh Pigment Infuser in my in a squirt bottle, but this is what it looks like, you guys. It comes in a container like this. It is on the Would You Been tab. It is on the Would You Been tab if you guys are interested. I just put it in here because that lid is so hard to get open Hello, sometimes. Lisa. And I thought we'd try this. So Dollar we'll Tree water happens. pins on screen counterclockwise to fill. Okay. Huh. Okay, you guys can see what I did. I just put some on here. We're just going to go across here and put on our Posh Pigment Infuser. I'll lay that right up on top of there. Honey, can you do me a favor and turn that fan off behind you for a few minutes? Because it's going to dry my infuser how about, out. How about I just turn it like that? That's fine. I just, it's just going to dry I'm my infuser turn, out. Is that all right? That's fine. Okay, I want to definitely get this top right here. So I, I gave up to. on my career caregiver so I can heal my body, says Jennifer. Good for you. You need to heal that body. Okay. All right. Let's start laying this on here, y'all. See what we can do here. Oh, Sandy Stanley. Okay, let's set that right in the center. Right there in the center. Kind of pull that back. Just like that. I'm going to lay that right down on there, like that. Where did you get the glue? The Posh Pigment Infuser oh. came from my Would You Been tab. It's in the Would You Been tab. It is part of the Would You Been. It's Posh Pigment Infuser is what it is, y'all. Oh, you guys, look at that. So pretty. So pretty, pretty, pretty full. All right, y'all, I'm gonna have to take some of this off in the back, which is not a problem. I'm just gonna kind of run my water pen right along there. Actually, I can probably tuck this right underneath and you would never even know it. Let me try that. Hold on just a second, you guys. I'm gonna use a paintbrush to kind of push it down in there. And I think we can maybe just tuck this and I don't have to cut it. Or maybe not. Oh, Carol Frost. Hi, oh. Carol Frost. Oh, Creeper. <gasps> There's my friend Jennifer. Okay, Hi, Jennifer. The first team you ordered and loved it. Uh, I need to check on Rosie. I haven't heard from her today. Hope she's good. All the heat. She's on here, yes. Jen, uh, Jennifer. Or Kay, I'm sorry. Rosie's on here. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm just going to make sure. I worry about her too in this heat. Okay, y'all, I'm just kind of tucking that back in there. Okay. I need to order some of the posh pigment infusers. Oh, y'all, that look at that. Isn't oh, that beautiful, you guys? You can kind of see the uh, color underneath, but I'm good with that, you guys. That looks so pretty. Those will pretty. be going in the mail. It's boxed up. So gotcha. pretty. Label printed. It will be going in the mail tomorrow. I'm going to add some more infuser here, you guys. I'm just going to pour it on there. I'm going to grab my brush before it runs all the way down on it. I'm just going to kind of put that up on there. Pull it downward here. Sis, what are you doing? Hmm? Okay, I'm just going to pull that straight down. And lay it down right there. Run our brush down through there, just like that. Okay. Okay. Mm, there we go. You guys, this is so pretty. Where so do I order pretty. this? On our link tree. And, uh. What does she want to order? Well, what do you want in first order, Robin? Yeah, you got to let me know what you're wanting to order, and I can give you an idea of where to Hi, order Barb it. Barb Zimmerman. Hello, Barb. Hi, Barb. Oh. Is there a lot of water in my water pen? Nope. I still have water in there. Okay. Wanted to make sure, because I didn't want to... Judy says, what is Timu? T 
Timu is, is a uh, website that you can like order stuff off of. Cheap Amazon. Yeah, kind of like a cheap Amazon. They've got a little bit of everything. Robin said the glue. Okay, the glue came from my uh, Would You Bend link, you guys. It is a, um, it's called Posh Pigment Infuser, and it is off of the Would You Bend link. Under the, uh, Posh Pigments, under Pigments. Not Posh Pigments, but Pigments. Okay, I've got a place on here, y'all, that I'm gonna have to fix. Oh, well, I'm gonna, gonna need some fixing, so I'm just gonna kinda get me a piece of the napkin right here. And we're just going to patch it. We're just going to patch it. You see this little piece right here? We're going to add that to it. You really probably couldn't see it, but I see it, and that's going to drive me crazy. So, And you all know how I am about things. Things have got to be just right, or I'm not happy. There's Susie Zane. Hello, Susie. Hi, Susie. How are you, sister girl? Susie was on vacation for 10 days in Palm Springs. Ooh, nice. And there's Betty, and then there's Hi, Maddie. Betty. Hi, Maddie. Okay, there we go. See that long piece I just put? See that piece right there on the top of the roof, you guys? The burgundy piece right there? That's what I just added. You can't tell it's been added. Look how pretty that is, you guys. And you know what I think I'm going to do, y'all? And I'm being serious. There's a couple places up here that is uh, kind of, I just feel like it's empty looking. We're going to just go and we're going to add some napkin to it. So I'm just going to take this napkin and right here where this floral part is, we're just going to kind of cut it right here like this. And we're just going to pull it right off of here. And we're going to add this to the roof. Ready for more Happy Mail from me. Who's that? Anytime, guys. Hello, Judy. Okay. Jennifer's going to walk over and see her mom. All right, Jennifer. Have fun, Better sister. Better get me a pie, a pie before the old. Talk to you soon, girly. Miss you. Day. You guys, Jennifer Pugh is an amazing person. I just love her. Where's she at? Didn't you say she was in here? Yeah. Is that who you said was going to walk over to see your mom? Jennifer Swindell. Oh, I thought it was Jennifer Pugh. No. Well, see here, I had the wrong one in my mind. I was talking to the wrong one. We just got so many Jennifers and Jens. And... Okay, let's stick this right up here, you guys, and we're just going to make this work right along with the rest of it. Okay. See how that was plain, and I just added this little piece right here. Okay, we're going to also go in and add just a little bit more, you guys, if I can find some more of those small florals right here. Actually, hang on. I have some right here we can add. Your special popcorn says Alice. Oh, yes. Burger, okay. Connie Whoop. says I enjoyed our session, session, session so much last night. I enjoyed it, too. It was a, I, you guys, I love being alone here. with y'all yes, and do that. Jennifer is. I think she, well, she's creeping around, guys. My friend Jennifer Pugh comes in and sees us quite often, y'all. She's amazing. I just love her. If you guys do not know who Jennifer Pugh is, you need to check out all her artistry. She is amazing. She does a lot of calendars. She used to do the Dollar Tree calendars. Now she's in the Hoblob. Hello, Deborah. I think, I don't think Jennifer's in here anymore. I think she's. She may not be. I think she just. Dined she and stopped and said, hey. She may have just stopped and said, hey. I think she might have been craft hopping. Just adding the extra. And I'm going to grab this tulip right here. I want this tulip on the Jim front. Jim says love her artwork. I do too. She's awesome, y'all. We you were very blessed. The group. We meet every Thursday at 7. You guys, we were so blessed to meet Jennifer in Texas. And I'm going to tell you what, you guys. Her and I hit it off right away. We just become the best of friends. I mean, to, to the point to where we swapped phone numbers and we text one another and all that good stuff. I just think she's an awesome, awesome person. I just really love her. Y'all, I'm going to add that tulip right there to the top. I like that there. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> she's not all there. What'd you hide? What are you hiding from, sister? Are you tired, sissy? There we go. I just wanted the, another flower right there on the top, you guys. I just wanted to fill that top in. I think that's beautiful. There's a couple other small areas that we could continue to fill in, which right here on, there's a really raw area right here. So I'm just gonna pull these off of here. And we're just gonna add this to the top here, you guys, or to the side, right here. I gotta tell you a little funny story right today. It's Oops. not really, it's just a quick little story. But I think it's kind of funny. What's that? Well, I told you already. What? Best sister, 
She oh, did. yeah. She told me, too. She called me. She sent me a message today and asked if Beth was on alive. And I said, no, she's in Martinsville with Whitney. So, I sat there for a couple of minutes. Of course, being Randy. Of course, being me, who I am, I sent her a message back. I said, why? You want to call and talk dirty to me? She well, said, oh, yeah. <laughs> she sent me a text back a few minutes later. She said, oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys, he's terrible. She, uh... Yeah, she Stephanie called me and told me. Didn't get too hot today, did you? She called me and told me. She said, "Yeah." She she said, "Randy asked me if I want to call and talk dirty to him." She said, "I said, oh yeah." <laughs> She's silly. For those of you that don't know Lorinda, you would understand why it was so funny him saying that. Okay, there we go, you guys. I got all those spare spots filled in. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Okay, I do have an area here. I'm gonna have to add a little hot, or a little hot glue, a little of my tight bond to you guys because it is pulling loose right here at the top. So I'm gonna let it drip down in there. Guys, I watched the movie. I stayed up kind of late the other night and watched the movie. I've seen it before, but actually I've watched two movies the last couple of nights, that old movies. That yeah, he's gotten to where he likes watching the old movies and it's driving me crazy. I watched the one with Tom Hanks where he was got plane crashed on the FedEx plane. What's that called? Lost. No, is it called lost? lost? No, it's called. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. Dad Wilson in there. Yeah, with the volleyball. Y'all know what it is. With the volleyball. Izzy. No, Miss Izzy, stop. That's not Anyhow, nice. Then last night I stayed up kind of late and I watched the Green Mile. <sighs> Those are like if you've seen them once, you've seen them a thousand times. Yeah, they're still good. Castaway. Castaway. Yeah, that's it. Who said that? Catherine, Catherine said that. Miss Catherine. All right, y'all. I'm holding this, and I'm going to sand this as I hold this here. I'm just going to sand this right off the edge here. Yeah, the Green Mile is a pretty good movie. I have oil. Like I said, it's been so long, I forgot almost what it was about. That's one I feel like if you've seen it once, you've seen it. I mean, it's a good movie, but. What is this? Stamp. Oh, it's a stamp. It's a stamp, a daughter. Where's your son? Randy, seriously. It's to doll it with. Okay. Carolyn says, Jennifer Juice does me a print. I was supposed to get one for the office. But I had it for you, but I never got it. I won't say who the crap it was, but she didn't send me all my stuff. This is why I'm so careful who I order for. I'm sure glad I don't have to worry with you. No, that's for sure. If something doesn't come well, right or... I found out that I'm not a superwoman yesterday. I was mowing the cemetery yesterday and tried to move a broken headstone. I woke up with so Oh, much I bet you did, Miss Rosie. Bless your muscle. heart. All right, you guys. Work, I want to... You should do a bird house piece. like a church. I know someone who likes churches and crosses. I do, Molly. too, Miss Molly. Who is that, Molly? <laughs> I do, too, girlfriend. I can watch Clint Eastwood over. You know over. what, Molly? I can do that. I will, I'll work on a pattern for that. Is that the birdhouse one of your items to make? No, Joyce. This is one she got from Goodwill, but we do have a birdhouse on our website, guys. We do. We sure do. Okay, I'm going to try my best. And shipping is included in the price. Okay, that won't bend down like that. So what I'm going to have to do is we're going to have to cut some of the goods off of here. I'm thinking goods. right here. Y'all, we may end up ruining this piece. And if we do, it doesn't matter. It's already broke anyway, so. Hello, Donna Barber. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if I can bend that down further. No. It's not going to work, is it? Well, I you think know what you, we're going to do? I think. Why? Go ahead. What, baby? Show me. I think you trim it off right around to that. And do the same and just here. Put that up That's right exactly there. what I was gonna do. Okay. And I said I know what I was gonna do. Baby, you're thinking like me. There's does it hurt? Does it oh hurt? My gosh. Be honest. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure Karen, out how. It is www.rekindledblessings.com. Just like our page. Or you can hit our link tree down there at the bottom. 
<clears throat> excuse me, and go to use our link tree to get our website. I hope this is where I go. My throat is dry. I can tell. You sound like it is. Jennifer Miss Molly, Swindoll. I will work on that, sister. Is that the one with uh, Mel Gibson? What's that? The river runs through it. No, that has Brad Pitt in it. No, but there is one called the river. Now look how that's uh, kind of off. But this is off. Look right here. Yeah. I don't know if I can. Yeah, yeah it is that. off a little bit. One side. I can probably fix that. Hang on. Look right there. <laughs> it is off. Well, anyhow, there's a. It's got a uh, sissy spacek in it, and Bra uh, Mel Gibson. What does? I think it's called the river. The river, or the river runs through it. The river, I think, it's the one that's filmed in Tennessee. Remember my dad? It was filmed in his hometown in Rogersville. Really? Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, my cousin was in that movie as a. Uh, you didn't tell me that an extra. Extra. Really? Was when they did the thing in town. Well, you didn't tell me that. I didn't know that. Yes. Well. How oh. fancy is that? Oh, yeah, that is talk, big talk for my dad. Well, of course. Your dad always has big talk about everything when he was here. He was a little guy with lots of big talk. But when <laughs> but when they, he seen the movie, he was saying, yeah, that's over here and this is there. You guys, I'm going to tell I've you what. Randy's dad, his dad was just an amazing man. I love that man so Randy much. Something. His dad was about what? How tall was your dad, Randy? 5'3", five, 5'3". Five, he three. was about 5'3", or 5'4", you guys. A little bitty man little bitty man yeah. but I'm gonna tell you what he he was a big man in all ways except for height I mean he just oh my gosh I just love that man so much he had such a a wonderful life experience and everything they didn't have a lot when he was growing up but I'm telling you the man could tell you stories and just he was a pretty awesome guy pretty awesome guy I really thought the world of him he meant a lot to me even though I didn't really know him for a real long time. Um, Randy, 20 you know, years, probably. How long? 20 years. Well, more. yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, I mean, I didn't get to know him when he was younger <coughs> or anything like that. All right, y'all, I'm going to try to make that work. I don't know whether it will or not, but we're going to try it. Let me heat this, these two pieces up. Well, I think you the River it. with Mel and Sissy? Yes. Yes. Kay says she loves that movie. Hi, Pat. How are you, sister? Have you got your package yet? Guys, Miss Pat is going to be one of mine and Randy's affiliates. Randy has sent her a package, and she's going to be uh, doing it live. Hi, Elizabeth. Yeah, Melva, your dad was small, too. His dad was small, I'm telling you. I mean, his his dad was just an amazing man. I, I mean, he really, I don't know. His dad was just super special to me because he'd always, he always made me feel so welcome. He, uh, whenever uh, Chris was young, he'd always ask, which is his grandson, Randy's son. He would ask Chris, he'd say, you going to grow up and marry you a good looking woman like Bessie? He just, he loved me. And he meant the world to me. I love that man so much. So, so much. All right, y'all. These little pieces here, we're going to stick up on here. But I want to knock this big sharp point off of here. I don't want it to be sharp. I think that'll work. I'll try to make it look like it's part of that piece. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Everybody saying hi to my friend Pat. That mean I'm big and all. Yes, you are, Miss Pat. You're big and always, girlfriend, except for height. That's right. You're just fun size, like you said. <laughs> yeah, you guys, Miss Pat. I, a lot of you have seen the picture of Pat up against me. She's a shorty, but we love her. She's a shorty. We'll keep her. <laughs> That's funny, Pat. You're hilarious. You're hilarious. She's no bigger in a minute, that's for sure. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, you're so tall. No, they're just short. They're just short. The ladies I stayed in the house with was just short ladies, that's all. Okay, 
let me hold this here for a minute, you guys, and let this grab a hold here. Thank you, Barb Lucas, for spreading the blessings. I appreciate you. Haven't received it yet, but you'll be the first. Okay, sister girl, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, oh it popped it right back off there, y'all. It popped it right back off there. Let me heat this up a little bit. Let me heat this up. put a little more glue on here, too. How tall are, how tall am I? I'm 5'9". I'm just 5'9". The Pat's like four foot three. No, I don't know how tall Pat is. She's not that tall, though. She's a short little lady. Did Pat receive her package yet? Not yet. She said we'd be the first to know. She said she'd let us know. Maddie says, my daughter is also fun size. She's 23 and about five foot. Hello, everyone. Rod, Rita. That's funny. I mean, nothing wrong with being that short. I just think it's funny because... Of the word fun size. I think now I think that's funny. Doodle does, Denise Design says I'm loving this. Love your hat says Barb. Thank you guys. All right, y'all. Let me hold this here for a second, you guys, because if I don't, it's going to pop it right back off just like it just did a minute ago. But Watch while I'm one. waiting, did you make it? I'll grab this one here. No, this uh, birdhouse. The birdhouse house came from, from Goodwill. Goodwill. Two ninety nine, y'all. But they do have birdhouses at Walmart and a lot of your other places right now, you guys, because it is that time of year. So if you guys want to fix one up, Vivian this would be the time says, to do I'm it. I'm four eleven. Cindy says I'm four eleven. Four eleven. Pat, how tall are you? I don't know how tall Pat is, but she's a little bitty. Thank you, Miss Pat, for launching the love. I appreciate you, sister. That means the world to me. You know that. How much it helps us. All right, let me oh, go ahead and dry. Let me keep this up while it's up here, y'all, because this is what we're supposed to do to get it to attach its sail. Wow. Woo. Five, two and a half is that. <laughs> Five, two. Got to get that half in there, girlfriend. Got to get that half. And own it, girly. Own it. It's funny. Where did you get your hat? I got my hat at Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Randy bought it for me last year. But they do still have them this year. But this year it doesn't have the flag. It has USA on it. Okay, so that's okay, Pat. Um the ground as I am policy, Kay. Oh, you are not, Kay. You're so full of baloney. Miss Kay, she's seen you anyway. Miss Pat says, seen Dang, you. Dang, I'm shorter than Pat. <laughs> Debbie says, I'm 5'6". Regina says, I took my baby Izzy to the vet today. She weighs 2.7 pounds. Oh, my goodness. How sweet. Barb says she was 5'5", five, five, now 5'4". Five, I'll show you guys what we're doing on the top. See, we're trying to make it look kind of like that one, you guys. I'm just letting it sit there for a minute and let it kind of get on there good and solid because it's kind of off just oh, a tiny bit here. Trying to fix that, but it's not want, it's wanting to fight with me, I think. A little bit. There goes them dogs. You want to shut that bark, door? Bark, bark, bark. Okay. I'm hoping that'll hold that there. Okay. Let's see here. What can we do with these? Can we do something with these? What do you think? Yeah, good. Or should we put these down here? Like that. A little yeah, let me try this and see if I like this one. Thank oh, you, you guys. Beth, Beth, did you see my husband say hello on my live yesterday? Maddie, I didn't, sister. That's I didn't. I I'll have family. to go back and watch. Is that the one I gave you yesterday? What's up? These? No, you gave me some other little things. You guys can't really see that one. Hold on. That's what I'm going to be using now, you guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this side over here off so that they Monroe, can't Izzy them. can't hear those dogs barking now. And yeah, no, she can't hear them. She wouldn't bark even if she could hear them. Yeah, Izzy don't she bark. Would, she hardly ever barks at anything, you guys. The only time she barks is when somebody knocks on our door. Or if she's got to go out. Or if she needs to go to the potty. That's the only time. It is a birdhouse, Miss Amy. Mm -hmm. I almost forgot to put what we were going to put on it, sis. Y'all, I almost forgot the best part. Let me lay this down here. I finally talked to him into it. He came on. You guys, I almost forgot second. these. Oh, and their tails are going to hang off, Kai. Darn it. We're putting them on here anyway. We're going to put them on here anyway. It is what it is. My would you been kind of threw me off, y'all. I got busy with that and didn't even think about this. That's okay. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. 
Who old was that? Okay. Nick says, I love that transfer. I love that transfer too, isn't it beautiful? But you, we're gonna lose some of their tails. We are gonna lose some of their tails, but I think it'll be okay, y'all. I think it'll be okay. And then we can put that other part on here if we choose to. We're all about this. Let me see if I can find a little tool here to put the transfer on with. Here we go. Oh, I like connecting everyone's husbands and wives, says Monroe. Have you connected best yet, Monroe? Huh. The rosemary turned out very beautiful that you did. Thank you. Hello, Donna. I think it turned out kind of pretty. Kathy says, you are so very creative. Absolutely beautiful, says Nancy. Thank you, guys. All right, y'all. This is, We are going to lose part of the transfer. If you turn that down, you could... Never mind. If I trim what down? That plastic down some more, you could have moved that bird up. I did move it up some. Inch. I did move it up some, honey. It's all good. It, the it's... crafty porch. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, friends. I'm glad you're all here. Oh, there. Boy, that just about scared me. Yeah, Bess is pretty disconnected. What's that? Her husband. Yeah, he's disconnected, all right. I don't even have a line hooking me up. Oh, Donna. Patty said, Patsy said, make me something pretty. Yesterday was my 69th birthday. God bless him. Here. Well, happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday Hello, to Cheryl. you. Mr. Randy, are you going to give any chicken squawks or anything for the birthday? Oh, I guess. Uh, we pretty well just quit doing all that because we yeah. get in trouble, you guys. So we got to watch everything we do. Well, Patsy's birthday was yesterday. Yes, it was. Everybody tell Patsy happy belated happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday you to my friend Patsy. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. God bless you, sister. Uh, Diane says that's one elite looking birdhouse. So sweet, cute graph. Thank you. Everybody saying Oops, happy birthday. Scared me. Bad. Well, no, I thought the tail was gonna come up and wrinkle, and that scared me. Yeah, it scared me pretty bad. I thought I'm sure I was gonna have a mess here, but I didn't, so we're all good. It's all good, it's all good. Okay. Whew. See the little birdies, you guys? See the little birdies? Okay, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna knock these off with this here. So I'm gonna peel that off there, y'all. Their tails kind of get lost there. And I think we're going to put, no, I don't know if we can or not now, y'all. I'm going to put that down there. Oh, we can put that on there now. You don't think I need to? No, that covers up the birds. Oh, well, oh Barb. We need, to, we need to put something down here, so maybe we need to put these. Something little to where it's got the wood you bend, because it's got to have something down here. You can do that right there. What do you think? Uh -huh. Like that? Uh -huh. Or like, hang on. I'm missing a piece on this one. It's not on that one. Hang on. I gotta make them the same. Okay, that's what I'm missing. Oh wait, maybe we can add this one back. I do it like that. I wonder why dogs like to hear squeak. I don't know. They just do. Dogs are dogs. You know how that goes. I wonder why that's people how ask how about. Yeah. Why <laughs> dogs like to hear squeak? There you go. Monroe. Was that Monroe asking? Yeah. Who knows, Monroe? Mom says, keep, she likes the birds. Thank you. Okay. Sandy says, happy birthday. Put that right there, you guys. And then I'm gonna take this end and we're gonna sand this one off. And then I'm gonna add this back here and flatten that out. Boy, that's one really have to get Elizabeth said, the mirror paint came out so pretty. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, leave it right there. It is a sick chicken, Amy. It's got bird flu. 
The bird flew. <laughs> You're so Hello, silly. Linda Roach. Alright, I'm gonna... Hi, Linda. How are you, sister? It's been a minute, girlfriend. Oh, Deborah. Right, I'm just sanding this down. This one's from Cracker Barrel, you guys. I got it last year at this time. I did buy a couple hats from Timu. I'm waiting to get here. So we'll see. And you know, I, uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, whenever I get my TV, you guys, I will go live. Oh, cool. And we will do a uh, reveal of the stash or the whatever you want to call it. We got the haul, I guess you call it. I got some, well, unless you didn't order my thing. What was I supposed to order? Those ones. I did. Those. I did, I did. That was like half of my money. No, it was not. I'm teasing. All right, y'all, let's keep this up. Linda just got over the vertigo. Oh my goodness, that stuff is horrible. Erla says I love that. Oh, I do too, Erla. That's one of my favorite places to eat. I love, love, love Cracker Barrel. Y'all, Randy needs to take me to, we need to go to Olive Garden because my mom and dad gave us an Olive Garden gift certificate for my birthday. Susie so. said Kathy just opened up her first Timu package today. And Woo! now she says she's hooked. She's hooked. What what you drop, I, uh, don't tell me I just rolled over that. I will cry. What is it? Y'all, I dropped it. Hang on. I made it roll over it. Oh, there it is right there. It bounced up. <laughs> Scared me to death, you guys. I thought I rolled over it. But it bounced. She wouldn't tell me what she was looking for. It bounced. Well, I was worried that I rolled over it. Okay. I'm going to lay that right on there, you guys. I sanded that off so it would look like it's supposed to be flat right there. That one there. We need some architecture down there at the bottom, so we're gonna put this on here. And I fixed the one piece, you guys. It's got a piece that's missing right here, but we're gonna fix that and we're gonna put it right on there and you'll never know the difference. Okay, and I probably should have painted all this before I laid it on here. Okay, don't tell me I just dropped that too. I did. Do you see it, baby? You haven't caught it. Right there it is. I got it. Sure. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I don't want to have to go digging. Okay. Kathy Jones says, Hello, Beth and Randy. Going to be at French Lake Resort this weekend to spend time with grandbabies. Woohoo. That's awesome. Good for you. Okay, y'all. I'm gluing that right well, back Kathy, on there. Kathy, you can check it out. Then come back in April next year. Yes. And let everybody know what you think about it because that's where our event that's, is. Are you going to, yeah, if you're going to the resort, yeah, that's where we're going to have our event next year in April. We are excited about that. We're super excited so about we've it. we've got tickets available, guys. We sure do. For anybody that's interested. You're going to miss some fun. Okay, that didn't line up just exactly right, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. It's going to be just fine going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I really it's love my shirt okay. like the one you have on the else is saying it. Thank you. All right, Alice. You have a good night. She's got Bye, Alice. Dinner. All righty, girl. Go get you some dinner. Tell you about the event, Erla. Nancy, we've got quite a few people, a couple of people coming from California. We sure do. Well, Miss Susie Zane, she will be there, and she's in here right now. Susie's from California. I'm going to hold this down here. The Maria's, Maria Chapman. Yeah, Maria Chapman's coming, Susie her, Zane. Okay. We're going to have a, an event there we go. on April the 18th through the 20th of 2024. And it's going to be held at French Lit Casino and Resort. There's going to be eight presenters there. Yes. The Sparkle Six, which most of you know who that is. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Uh, Super pretty. Okay. Um, and then Dina, from Designs by Dina. Yep, she'll be and there. And Jennifer from yep. Home Sweet Creates is going to be there. 
No, I'll be there also. Yes, Case. It's the tickets on our website. You just click the link below and go to our website, guys. Okay, you guys, I gotta add a little more of this paint because I can see the side coming through here. So we're just gonna and there's add a little more here. Gonna be a lot more to do than just craft, guys. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of stuff. You can come with family or you can come alone. Come your with choice. Your husbands, your best friends, grandkids, grandkids whoever. whoever. Lots of things to do in this town, you guys. There's Lots gonna of be things. there's bowling, there's indoor go-kart track, there's putt putt, there's an indoor water park, uh, there's horse trails. Uh, did I say bow and arrow? You did. Okay, and you can rent bow and arrow and shoot targets. Tons of fun for everyone. There's golf. Uh, there's train, scenic train right down there. And there's quite a bit of shopping too. There's shopping right inside Little the hotel Reba. where you'll be staying. You just come on from Oregon. Come on down, sister girl. Uh, come on down. Jennifer Swim all is coming. Yep, she sure is. She's from Washington. Okay, you guys, we got us a little bee we're going to put on Shell here. Shell Rockets in French Lick, Indiana. Okay, we're going to kind of have the bee coming down on this one here. Okay. And what do I do with my little sticky? The tickets are available on our website. And you can, you pay through PayPal, and they have what they call pay later where you can purchase your tickets and make uh, four, four payments or you can break it down with no interest or you can do six payments with just a very little interest. Yep. On that. Whatever works best for you. So you, the only thing you have to do is after you purchase your tickets, let us know. So that does not include your hotels, guys. It's right there on the website, though, you guys. If you want to go check out everything that uh, will be going on or if you want a better view of everything, it's right there on the website. There are some pictures of the event place uh, on there, and it shows all the creators and everything we'll be doing. You will get a swag bag with eight crafts. Uh, you'll make and take those. Um, just all kinds of stuff. You guys, we're having a live band. Um, yes, on Saturday. Night. All We're kinds of fun stuff. Bands. All kinds of fun stuff. All right, you guys, look at the bumblebee. Bzz. Okay, we're going to put another bumblebee on this side. And, you know, the birdhouse, the bees will scare the birds away. Well, they're going to scare the birds away because the bees are trying to take over. The bees are, are wanting to take over. Yes, Reba, it is three days, the 18th, 19th, and 20th. Well, now the 18th is just the more like a meet is and greet. The 18th is like a meet and where greet. Where we meet and sit and just talk and that type of thing because we won't do any crafting that day. Hello, Mary Lou. And then the 19th, we're going to have four creators create one day. And then the next day, there's going to be the other four. And we're going to kind of... Break it down to where you're not going to be just sitting in there all day crafting. We'll give you guys plenty of time to get out and do other things. And then Saturday night, you guys, we're going to have a hoedown. We're going to have a hoedown, y'all, with our country band. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, that will be. It will be fun. Okay, here's another bee, you guys. Look at our bees. Are they cute? Super cute. Guys, okay. Now, y'all. That will be your only chance to ever have a chance to dance with me. Oh, are y'all hearing that? He's giving out. He's he's wanting his dance card filled out, y'all. He's, he's wanting to fill up that dance card. Okay, you guys. Now, what I'm wanting to do is I have. You guys, whether this be wrong or whether this be right, we are going to play with a little bit of this, y'all. This is Would You Bend, of course. You guys know, or the Posh Pigment. It is the Posh Chalk Metallic Paste. Okay, look at this color, you guys. Look at the florals on here. We got to play with it, y'all. Even if it don't look right, we got to play with it because it's, it's just really pretty. It's really pretty. And I'm hoping that this will work on this would you been and look nice. Oh, Sarah, I'm so sorry, sister. We'll be praying for you with your broken hip, girlfriend. Really, Polly will be there. 
My moderator, Roly Poly, will be there. I'm excited to see Roly Poly. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, y'all, we're going to paint this trim, this color. And I probably should have painted this before I put it on, y'all. But, you know, being me, I get in a hurry and get ahead of myself. But that's okay. We can make it work. We're going to make it work. Just have to be careful. Just gonna have to be careful. And like I said, you can paint this before you put it on, but I really wasn't sure y'all what I was planning on doing just yet. So that's why I went ahead and put it on, but you know, sometimes I jump ahead. We all know that too. I like to get in a hurry. But you guys look how pretty that's gonna be up against that. Isn't that gonna be beautiful, y'all? Thank you, Tina. Thank you, thank you. All right, y'all, I'm gonna pull some of this off. You know what, no, I'm not. I'm gonna close this up because I already have some of this mixed up with some Posh Pigment Infuser. Let me grab this right here, y'all. I've already got it mixed up and it's already soft and ready to go. Oh, no, I don't, you guys. I must have used it last night. Must have used it last night, or not last night, but night before. That's okay, we can mix some real quick. Don't take just a minute. All right, let me grab some of this out of here. I'm gonna put it right down there in my container, just like that. I'm gonna close this back up, and we're gonna get some Posh Pigment Infuser, you guys, which I've got in my squirt bottle now. Remember that, it's in the squirt bottle. We're just gonna squirt some of that in there. No, I've had that squirt bottle. That's one of the old ones from the Dollar Tree. Well, I got that one from the Dollar Tree. A long time ago. It's ones I had before these FIFO bottles. Guys, I'm trying to get my famous cousin to come down there. He said he's thinking about it. Oh, I got a famous cousin, guys. Okay. And all this does, you guys, is it thins it out like a paint. I'm going to add just had a little bit more. Had to step away for a while. My grandson had an allergic reaction or something. <gasps> I have to call 911 and scary stuff. Oh, Mindy, I'm so sorry. Yes, we will. yes, for sure. Father God, I ask you please to be with her grandson, Lord. Father, I ask this in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask that you lead and guide the doctors and help them find the problem at hand. Lord, I ask this in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. Yeah, he's married, Monroe, to Trisha Yearwood. Garth Brooks is my cousin. Y'all didn't know that? You guys didn't know Garth Brooks was my cousin? I thought everybody knew that. Okay, here we go, you guys. Let's go back after this here real quick. Oh, shoot, says Monroe. Sarah message cantankerous Randy. You want a gift in the group last night? Yes, you did. Monroe says, oh, brother. Monroe, you did not know that? I thought y'all knew that. Who's your famous cousin? Erla says, really? Now, would I tell a story, Erla? I mean, come on, you guys. This is Randy. Would he tell a story? Would I tell a story <laughs> like that? Oh, my goodness, you guys. Don't believe a word he says. He's full of baloney. Yes, Don. I am telling fibs. He always tells fibs. Hey, does the internet seem to be working better around here today? Yeah, why? I fixed it. What'd you do? No, Debbie. Garth doesn't know that we're cousins. As soon I... as he knows, though, I'm hoping that Randy will bring home some money. <laughs> I've been... Don't we wish you guys? Wouldn't that be nice? On fire, says Kay. That's right, Miss Kay. You tell him. Uh, no, Garth Brooks is not my cousin, guys. I'm just kidding. Anyhow, no, there was a guy out back uh, said that the internet, the cable for the internet, uh-huh, uh, the cap was off of it and it was getting wet and stuff and he put a new cover on it. Well, see, I told you I thought something was wrong with our internet. I just happened to... I was out back. I was checking the grass. I was going to mow grass, but it was too wet. I just happened to ask. See, I thought it was it was acting crazy. I told you that, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Are you bored? Because I wasn't getting any internet. My internet was messing up all the time around here. Or I thought it was Facebook, but I think it was our internet, y'all. I really do. Or 50% of each. That could have been a little bit of both. 51. Uh, I prefer not. Or not, I'm not trying to be mean, but if there's any music, it'll pop me right off. I'll be down here shortly. She can hold up. Oh my gosh, Randy, you had me all fired up. Garth Brooks is my favorite. <laughs> well, you guys, the only thing I can say that is anything like Garth Brooks of Randy's, he's got friends in low places. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, y'all. Hello, Shana. Hi, Shana. How's my sister girl doing? 
Debbie says she saw Garth when he first started out. In I love Garth, in you guys. I tell you what, nobody beats George Strait, though. Yeah, George Strait's pretty awesome. I like him, too. George Strait is the king of country music. One thing I've always loved about uh, Garth, though, is Garth is pretty true to his roots. I mean, he he doesn't try to be anybody he's well, not, and that's, that's what, what I like about him. So is George Strait. Well, I know. I didn't say him, but I'm just saying that's why I like Garth. Hey, I seen him on an interview. It was on TikTok. It was a... Uh, Who? Uh, George Strait. Oh, at yes. First, Bless his heart. I guess... I guess when... Bad shape. When he first started out, they didn't want him to wear his hat. Kay says, Paul is Kim to Hank Williams. Cool. George is so pretty, says Shana. Yes, he is. He used to be beautiful. I always thought he was a good-looking man. I see your granddaughters didn't take your pee. No, they didn't, but they sure did like it. They played with it for a little bit. And then I moved her back up there today. <laughs> and something else, they wanted George Strait to change his name to something Cooper. Huh. What did he, he say? He said, no. You can't say I blame him. Carolyn says, I seen George in person, beautiful eye. Where'd you see him at? Down there in Rising Sun, Carolyn? Probably. They had a lot Gosh, of famous does. people come in down there. Connie says, Okay. Connie says, My favorite group is Diamond Rio. I like Diamond Rio. Gosh, y'all, I haven't listened to country music, though, for Karen, years. Oh, Karen says, Chicago, my husband was Ken to Don Look at that, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? Look Cole at that. It's so pretty. You like it? <laughs> I'm for real. Paul's grandpa and Hank's daddy were brothers. Oh, wow, that's cool. Cool. Oh, I believe you, Kay. I just... My mom swears that... Uh, remember her always saying that... Britney we Spears, yes. Related to Britney Spears. Because that was her maiden name. <laughs> the only person I'm, I am related to that's halfway famous was my great great grandpa, which was a very famous fiddle player in Renfro Valley. That's all I know, y'all. I mean, there ain't nobody famous in my family. Just my great grandfather. My aunt David Johnny Cash. Anybody I saw knows? Straight in San Jose, California. Randy's uncle or uncle, Randy's sister's husband. My aunt's husband. No, your sister's husband. Greg. His sister dated John Cougar Mellingham. In high school. In high school. They they dated in high school. And uh, Greg has a one of Johnny's guitars. But, yeah, that's as close as it comes for us, y'all. Trying to get down these little crevices here, you guys. I really should have painted this before I, I put said, it on. One of my good friends is a cousin of Britney Spears. Uh, Denise says, George Strait, Garth Brooks, and Johnny Berry are a few of my favorite country artists. One, well, of course, though I love 80s music. I like 80s music too, y'all. That's my favorite. Of course, that's the era I'm from, so yes, I love 80s music. Hey, Nancy Holloway. Yes, like Kay said, send me a private message. Uh, you weren't in the private group last night, uh, and we drew your name. Who knows, says Kevin Costner is looking for me in my dreams. Uh-huh. What was his name, the fiddle player? Um, hang on a minute. Slim Miller. Slim, yeah. Slim Miller. He was my mama's grandpa. They got all kinds of pictures of him down there. Yeah, he's very he famous. He kind of helped there, get that one started. He, uh, when we went to eat at Hardy's down there, you guys, the first time I ever went down there, which was the only time I've ever went down there. But uh, when we were down there, what, it's been maybe 10 years ago? Has it been that long ago? Rachel, uh, Carolyn, who's Rachel Holt? 
I must be, I bet you it's some bio American Idol or something like that. What's that? Not Nancy, it was Sarah Harmon in Tankers. Oh, sorry. Is Sarah Harmon on here tonight? No, Nancy. Monroe said, my dad liked Slim. My dad was a huge bluegrass fan. Then you knew who Slim Miller was if he was bluegrass. Yep. That was my great-grandpa. But that's about as famous as my family gets, you guys. Now, my brother has played music with Alabama and oh, several candy. other uh, Tennessee country people that's been in Tennessee when he's been in down on Tennessee Row. Which you guys will get to see him. My brother is the one that's playing music in uh, our event. So for those that are coming, you will get to meet my brother and his band. Yes, Sarah Harmon. Yes, you're the one that needs to send me a PM. And my little brother and my big brother and my mama and my daddy and my She's sister. She's in the hospital. She said, that's who I told to message you. Okay. But you guys will all get to meet my family. Those of you that come. I'm oh, sure Mary, we'll probably have some of Randy's family there. I'm not sure, though. I'm thinking we probably will. Kai, what do you think? I don't know. She gave you a thumbs up. Okay. My eyeball's itching. Whew, and we're out. The reason Kylie's not on her live tonight is her dad didn't want her on here because the last time she was on here, people tried to get in contact with her. From Facebook. From Facebook. Some of the people did. So, so she's no longer allowed to be on our lives with us not at all. As of right now. Until she's like 90. Or 87. And we got to do what dad wants us to do because dad knows best. Yeah. Hello, Annie. I get to watch you guys and I has be has had a very early morning appointment for a test to be done at the specialist. Prayers, please. We'll be praying for him, honey. Hello. Our Jennifer says she loves this. Rebecca says, hey, Beth and Randy, cute birdhouse. Thank you. Wow, Randy, is her book really your cousin? No, Alice, I was just kidding. That's going to be all over the place, Randy. People are going to really think that you're... <laughs> Garth will come on here and say, who do you think you are? <laughs> Telling people that stuff. Well, if he is, we'll just put it this way. If he is Randy's cousin, we don't know it. We'll put it that way. You know, we're all related in some way, you guys. So I'm sure somewhere down the line, one of us is related to somebody pretty famous. I don't blame her. I don't blame her dad. I don't there either, are you guys. a lot of crazy people in this world. Yes, so. yes. Well, Annie I, Murray, thank you for the stars. It was a little aggravating hearing there were people trying to contact my granddaughter. That upset me. Hi, everyone. I miss my crafting family, says Annie. Miss you too, sister. I have several replays to watch. I've been sick. Seems like it's lasting forever, says Candy. I'm sorry, Candy. So sorry, y'all. Hi, uh, Beth, says Sandy Triplett. I'm Hello. trying to hustle through it, you guys. Don says, British bird house. I've ever seen cases. Daddy just protecting her. True, love your birdhouse. That's going to be beautiful, Beth. Thank you. Yeah, we. I'm glad her daddy does protect her like he does because you know what? If he didn't, I'd be mad at him. So I'm so thankful he does. She's got a good daddy.
you guys, this may not be painted perfectly, but I'll go in and touch up later. I'm just trying to give you guys the gist of it all. Okay. Can you guys see it so far? So far, so far, so far. I'm just gonna kinda dab down through here. Y'all, I really probably, I'm telling you guys, don't do like I did. Make sure you paint your pieces before you put them on. I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I can get it painted, but it's, it's just going to take a lot of detail work, and I'm oh, going to be super careful. Pretty says Wanda, beautiful Thank says you. Maddie. Thank you, Miss Maddie. But, uh, yeah, if you guys do Connie want to Connie says, I've first. had a couple men try to contact me after your lives. Lori Park says, me also makes me so mad. The guys that try to contact you guys are nothing, but uh, they are what we call bugs. And what the bugs are is it's these men from other countries that come in on oh, everyone's surely. lives and they try to contact the women and they're trying to take money out of your bank account. So do not talk to them. Just ignore them, you guys, and I will, I will delete them as quickly as I see them because when they start talking to you guys, I see it. And when I see the comment, I delete it. Oh, Robin. And I block them, so make sure you don't talk to them. And Shirley and Norma wants, she says she wants to live in that beautiful bird house. Aww. <laughs> Candy says there sure are a lot of creeps in the world. There are. There sure Teresa are. Teresa says think bugs are horrible. They are terrible. Just whatever you guys do, just don't talk to them because they will uh, try to steal your money oh, out of your Bonnie. bank account. That's all they want, you guys, is money. They're That's no all good. I want, baby. And I just tell the truth, y'all. I tell the truth. They are no good. So stay away from them. Even if they try to tell you guys they're that I'm lying, they're full of baloney. That's all I'm here for, babes, is money. Is that all you're here for? Yeah, can I have some? Nope, don't have any. Sorry, you're at the wrong place. Oh, man. You picked oh, the poor yes, girl. They claim they are in the military and want friends. Been dealing with that for years, says Lisa. Yeah, if they're in the military, uh, they're still in military pictures, I'm sure, so that they look like they're in the military, but they're not, y'all. Or somebody. Uh, Gianna got bombarded by the other night with those crazies. She had to block the entire country. Yeah, I've had to do that, y'all. I have, I have blocked, I believe I have 20 countries blocked on my uh, <laughs> Facebook. You have to, though, because if you don't, they'll just keep coming. They'll keep coming and keep coming. So I just want them to get a lot of stink bugs on Facebook. They're creepy. They are Shirley creepy. Shirley says they are horrible. That is definitely right. It says Maddie, I have them on my life as well. And I think Pat said, uh, or yeah, she said I had to delete and ban two on my life this morning. And Candy says, yep, yeah, so does Randy. He said it. Isn't that crazy, y'all? Look at that, you guys. Woo-wee, you guys. That's bright. So but you know what? It's cute. There isn't up in my camp to bother with. I also want to come down here on the bottom of this, you guys, and we're going to do the bottom of the eaves right here, the same color. You guys, Dude, this is bright, but it's fun. I've Actually. never really dealt with anybody, so they actually That's ask fun. people for money. See that. Yeah, they do. They do. I need to get me a fake account. Well, what they'll do, okay, I'll tell you what they'll do. Set them up. They'll get to talking to these ladies, okay, because there's been several people fall for it, and they'll get to talking to them. And they'll just be their friend at first, and then a little later on, they start being uh, nicer and nicer and nicer. And the next thing you know, they'll be talking for weeks, and they'll, the woman will fall in love with them because they're lonely and they just want somebody. They'll fall in love with them or think they're falling in love with them. And then that person will say, well, I'm stuck over here in this uh country or oh, I need money to get home so I can see you. I want to meet you and da 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 And then... Next thing you know, the woman's sending them money, trying to help them out. And then that's how they get in their bank accounts and stuff. I'll tell you. It's terrible. It's mean. It's there's, horrible. There's these couple of guys from Indianapolis, and they have a Facebook page, and they go around, uh, and they act like they're girls, little girls, and then they go to these stores and confront the men. They're trying to pick up these kids, whether it be girls pick or boys. Pick up these kids and these grown men. And they don't confront them. They just talk to them. They don't 
harass them. They just ask them what to, and the people aren't. They're not forced to stay. And they, you know, they don't okay. physically abuse them or cuss them. They just want to know what they're doing for. Why they're doing it. Why they're doing it. And a lot of them will, a lot of the people will talk. A lot of them take off running. Y'all, this is different. I'm not sure about this yet. <laughs> we, I was watching one time. There was this guy from Martinsville. Okay. Yeah. I think we knew him. See that, you guys? Different. It's different, you guys. I don't know that I like it just it. yet. Maybe so cool. No, yeah. Candy, he's not. I'm just kidding. What's that? No, don't put that on there. Don't be hating. Okay, I need some you kind of. Uh, I need something here for a perch. What can we use for a perch? A perch. Should I just use like a dial rod and just glue it on? A perch. Well, it needs a perch. You got a doorknob or? I do have a doorknob. Hang on, I got an idea. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. Right here, this one. But it doesn't match. I'm say don't accept people you don't. Uh, that's what I want to do. See? I would love to do that. I'm going to set me up a fake account. It don't match those, Sissy. Yeah, I mean, I've seen them there. Would they, you well, just the red color? About a week ago, there was that a guy right from, I don't know where he's from, but they filmed him in front of the Mooresville Kroger's. Yes, they did, Melva. They sure did. We've seen he that said one. Black Friday. Isn't that, yes, yes. Isn't that so sad? I don't know what's the matter with people. I swear I don't. Oops, that's not gonna work. No, I can't decide if I like this or not. We'll see here, hang on. Basha says, I think it's beautiful. Love the rain. I do too, y'all. Yeah, it's sad that... Barb says, Frank all. Thank you, Barb. It's just sad that, that people have to worry about their kids and the stupid internet. And, and and when I say stupid internet, I mean stupid internet when it comes to the kids and, and bad things happening to kids. I, I absolutely hate that. I hate it. It shouldn't be like that, but it is, y'all. This world's a crazy world. Candy, yes, we had a good holiday. We didn't do a lot. No. Why not? You like that? Yeah. Ooh, I don't like that. No. All right, Renee, you have a good night. Hang on, y'all. Let me see what I can do here. And I like this one, but that come off there. No, of course not. Uh, let's see. Guys, I think <coughs> We went to Canby Walmart today, and I asked my husband what he was doing. He said he never goes in there unless he's locked and loaded. That place has gotten bad, too. Yeah. yeah. That's that's where we go all the time, you guys. This can be Walmart. That's where we go. I'm thinking this one here, but I've got to be able to take this off of here, and I don't think I can get it off there. I'm going to try to get off the plane. Susan says, hi, from Alabama. Hello, Susan. How are you? You guys. Watch the replay. Lots of love your way. All right. Thanks, Renee. Thank you, Renee. You guys, I'm going to try to get this off here. I don't know if I can get this screw off here or not. We're going to try it. This is just a knob. Let me see if I can get it. It's going to come, I think. There it goes. Yes. <laughs> that makes me happy. Nothing ever happens the right way. It's working tonight. So we're doing good. Y'all just going to use hot be there for four in the morning. Well, please be careful, Miss Barb. That's who it is, isn't it? Sometimes you're playing leaving, Barb. That's what I thought it was. Guys, this is just a little crystal doorknob. Or drawer knob, drawer pull, whatever you want to call Angela it. Angela says, almost finished with the flag kit. Hmm. Come on, move. There we go. 535. Let me look at this, y'all. I don't I think I got it off center. I did. Okay. Hold on, you guys. Give me a second. Okay, so there's a little dial rod. I thought a little dial rod, too, but that's okay. We'll make this work. I'm going to put this on with hot glue for right now, you guys, and I will probably have to take it off and put uh, a different glue, E6000 or something, and let it sit overnight. But for now, we're going to use hot glue. Just for now. There we go. Let's 
See the little perch? <laughs> okay. There's our little Here's perch. Nose, says Monroe. Yeah, oh, we, we could, Monroe. Monroe. You're right. I'm sure it would fit just right. <laughs> you think that was funny, sissy? I told my husband to get some sleep. I was asleep on the plane. There you go. Is your husband not going, uh, Barb? Is it just you and your sister? Okay. The knob looks right. great. Love the knobs and season. All right, y'all. We're going to add just a little bit of patina on this, and then we're going to be done. I yeah. love it. Very cute, says Alice. Thank you. No, Barb says. No, he's not going. Okay. All right, this patina, you guys, is gonna go around the outside of this, and what I'm gonna do is just kinda of go around it. Let me get another brush here so I can fan it out with it. I hope this will work, I hope. Hi, this is just gonna make it look. Just get it on, says Missy. Hi, Missy, how are Anna you? says, looks great. Everyone loved my flag kid at Newland, and I donated it for a raffle. Oh, how nice was uh, that? Carolyn. That's Michelle super nice. amazing bath. Beautiful as always. Love your talent and all your crafting. Thank you, guys. You too, Randy. Well, <laughs> thank you, Michelle. But it's all her, guys. You know me. You're in on it too, mister. You're in on it too. Pull that outward. It's just going to give like a little shadow around it. Mm -hmm. Val says, hello, Birdhouse is looking great. Thank you. I'm uh, going to get some rest, my peeps. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Sending hugs from Delaware. All Love right. You thank you. Love you, too. Have a great night. Candy. Uh, my mom has a friend that goes to the candy Walmart all the time, but I didn't think it was that bad there that is on awful. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Mom. Love you, too. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the rest of the kids. Thank you, Mom. Love you, too. Love you, guys. Because we have people that are coming down from Indianapolis. Uh, Randy won't hardly go to Walmart, you guys. He won't hardly go to Walmart. Okay, he says, oh, Al Pacino is going to be a daddy at 83. Oh, my gosh. Can you even imagine? My goodness. Yeah, he says. I think he'd know what caused that by now. Yeah, he says, Cheryl says it's beautiful. A little old at 83 to become a daddy. He'll be 90 when he's seven. Yeah, no kidding. That's crazy. Pulling that out, you guys. I love birdhouses, says Tappy, and you did a beautiful job. Thank you. Jennifer's sitting there with her mom watching Little House on the Prairie. Hi, Jennifer and Jennifer's mom. You gotta watch out for that Ellie May. She's a mean one. Ellie May? Or Ellie. On Little House on the Prairie? You know what, Ellie? That's Nellie. Nellie. I thought Nellie was a rapper. No. Nellie. Oh, my gosh. So you guys can tell how much Randy watched The Lies on the Prairie. He was too busy getting in trouble. What was Nellie's brother's name? Irving? Willie Olson. Willie. So you can tell Irving I watched it. Forth. He will never live to raise that baby. No, no he won't. Probably not. I would say no, for sure. Helen hasn't been to Walmart for over two years, not checking myself out. Wow. That's what I'm watching with my granddaughter in the, the afternoons. You know, a lot of people, though, won't check themselves out. And you know what? Randy's one of those. He does not like I to. will. He's like... Well, I'd like to, he goes, I ought to just walk out of here and steal this stuff. I said, Randy, there's people, there's registers over there. You can go and wait in line if you, uh. No, I don't say like, uh, steal it. No, you go, uh, I, uh, no, you don't say steal. You said I should get paid for this. Yeah. I should be being paid for doing this job. And I said, well, you can go over there where the register's open. But, you know, of course, he's like, uh, no. And Zoic says, what you got, I just got Colorado. See the darkness right. around that, you guys, how I darkened it in around it? Well, what gets me is they want you to check yourself out. So then they got somebody standing there at the door asking you for your receipt. That really makes rainy. <laughs> if they don't trust you, have somebody there checking you out. Yep, I agree on that. I do agree with that. Okay. I, do agree I will with not that. show my receipt. 
I'll hold, I'll throw it up in the air, but I ain't gonna stop and let them touch it. If they didn't trust me, they shouldn't let me check myself out. So you think everybody that walks there and checks yourself out is tr trustworthy? Well, that, I mean, that's Walmart's fault, not mine. I'm just asking. Jeez. That's all right. I was going to tell you, I met my husband in a bar and we were married two weeks later. I promised to spend the rest of my life with him, but he has spent the rest of his with me. We have 47 super sweet years together. That is so awesome. Melba says Randy's a rebel. He is, Melba, you'd think. Wait to check yourself out, but want to let you go to the break room, will they, Randy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he says he should be paid for doing that. I'm like, well, why should you get paid? Well, I mean, okay, you're scanning stuff. Or, no, he always says, I need my uh, employee discount. I'm like, Randy, nobody's making you do that. I mean, you're scanning your stuff out, and if you accidentally miss, I mean, they didn't train you. You don't Listen have to. you. They don't give you no training to run the registers. Oh, my gosh. That's just like the Kroger's here in town, you guys. They've taken out all the registers in our Kroger, except for two, I believe it is. Two or three. Is it two or three? It's two, isn't it? Oh, okay. And all the rest is a self-checkout. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Because there's times Luke I don't... says, where's my W-2? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's funny. I mean, I didn't even get orientation. <laughs> Or watch, have to watch no videos or anything, you know. That's because you were just that good when you started, is yeah. what it was. Unique sitting right there and telling the guys how to uh, ban countries from your page. Olay Olson on Little House on the Prairie. Yeah, she was a mean one. See, I. When I go into Walmart, I just even greet myself. I walk through the door and I say, welcome to Walmart. And I'll look back at myself and say, well, thank you. You're so silly, I swear. Y'all hearing this. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I have to live with this man. What am I going to do with him, y'all? Registers have cameras. They can see if you don't. Yeah. Well, now, I guess they've got register scanners now that you can just basically push your cart through there and don't even have you put to put it on your phone you scan with your no, phone. no they've got scanners now that you can just push the cart oh and it does everything in the cart it at one does time everything supposedly you can do everything in the cart Jeez. and you just pay for it and then go bag it that's crazy that is absolutely crazy <laughs> life has sure changed since i was a kid used to they'd use their fingers and use they'd have like a a uh, phone pad, number pad, and that's how they would ring groceries up, and they had little yeah. stickers on them told how much they were. <laughs> well, nothing like gets me. They got these self-checkouts, a lot of them, and these... these <laughs> you guys, she's sitting over here laughing at Randy. And the way they do it is you have, a, I mean, a heaping cart full of stuff, and then they, you go to one of these little self-checkouts, and you got a foot and a half by foot and a half to set grocery carts on and if you go to put them in a bag or back in your cart alarm goes off and security comes running and well because you <laughs> never mind I don't even care it right now this time oh my goodness y'all okay I'm, I'm still bed. here cracking up you Randy you're see? right they sure train it's you so you're pretty y'all you're I'm hilarious you guys I, I hate self check yeah do like this, but it needs something. What does it need? I don't know. I don't know. It needs something, you guys. Hang on. Let me let me see if we could do a little Tim Holtz on the sides or something. I don't know, y'all. Uh huh? Uh huh? Tell me something. I'm not sure, Sissy, what we're doing. Oh, she said, 
gold right there. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> we were supposed to put gold on that, wasn't we? Okay. Hang on a minute. I'm going to do oh, some rubbing right buff also. Ow. Oh, sorry. You all right? That's all right. Y'all, we're going to put some rubbing buff on here after I hit Randy in the knee. That's not rubbing buff. We're going to hit you in the knee again. Watch yourself. Do you smell rubbing buff there anywhere? No, baby. Right there it is. I found it. Yes, ma'am, Barb, you're correct. What's that? Okay. We're going to this with Rub and Buff, you guys. Lisa says that's a beautiful bird now. That's going to change the look right there, y'all. That's what I was looking for right there. When they start paying me to check myself out at Walmart, I'll do it. I'm not on the payroll yet. I'm going to give it time. You probably will be. They'll probably not have employees at all, and they'll probably give you so much to... Circle K. This gas station here in Mooresville is trying to go uh, complete self-checkout. They're going to, I guess, going to be put in a room. That's what I wanted right there, you guys. That made the difference. See it? Much yeah. better, isn't it? They're going to be put in a room with the tobacco and alcohol, and you're going to have to scan your ID to get in there. And then... There's only going to be one employee in there just to make sure things don't break down. You know, they're it's pushing be... it. They're really pushing it. Whatever. Okay. Let me wipe my hand off, you guys, and we're going to put some gold on this back. Oh, y'all, that just made the difference. I'll show it to you guys in a sec. Oh, my goodness. Let me get my hand wiped off here. I'll show you guys. Didn't that make a difference? Told you. You know, I don't know if I could do that kind of back. job. Okay, y'all ready? Look at this. Look at the difference that made, you guys. Oh, my gosh. It made it so much prettier. I don't know if I can do that kind uh, of job. Design okay. things to put people out of business, out of work. That's just how this world is anymore. I know, Randy. but people I mean, get paid. These them. stores, stop and think. They're going to pay one big, huge bulk, okay, at first. But it's going to save them so much money in the long run as far as paying the I employees. can't sleep at night, though, knowing I'm designing stuff to put people out of work. But that's just how this world is? You're going to hear that trumpet soon. You're, you are going to hear that trumpet soon. Who said that? Did Connie. you say that? Oh, I thought you said it. Yes, you are going to hear that oh, trumpet Margaret. soon. Oh, Margaret. You're exactly right. Lord we're all going to be. It. We're all going to be running for that. I don't think I can sleep at night. Going to be running. Okay, here we go, you guys. This is the Would You Bang Gold, you guys. The the uh, pigments. Let me show you what it is, you guys. It's this right here, the pale gold. The pigment I take, and I'm, I'll go ahead and mix some more of this up in here. A little bit of your pigment in there, which is powder. Okay, we're going to add that, and we're going to take a little bit of lemon gold, and we're going to mix in there also, because I like this to be a little bit bright. A little bit and totally agree with me. Okay, a little bit of lemon gold. We're going to mix that in also, along with the pale gold. Get both in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some of our Posh Pigment Perfect. Infuser. You guys know I love the infuser. Once again, it's... It looks like this right here. It comes in a container like this. It's on the under pigments. We're going to put that in there, and we're going to give it a stir. Are you making a concoction? This is my science. I'm showing you guys. This, this is my science lesson for the evening. Has to put people out of work and complain no one wants to work. That's true. Oh, Lord, I gotta get That's that very true. All right, you guys, here's your science lesson for the day. Let me show you. Look at this beautiful gold we just made. Isn't it pretty, you guys? So pretty. Okay, y'all, we're going to put this on the back right here. Right along this peak. Right along this peak here. This is what the granddaughter was trying to tell me. I told her we was going to put gold on this. Glad she thought or she remembered that, but I didn't, y'all. Okay. This is going to change the look of this, you guys. Let me show you. See the gold? It's going to change the look. Okay, I'm just going to go down through here. Just lay that right down along there. You're fine, Miss Cynthia. I'm so glad you're here, girl. I saw the view of Walmart that you drive through the store. You put your items. Isn't that crazy, y'all? There is no way. I like to look at stuff too much. I like to, I, you guys, I don't like to shop online. I am not an online shopper. And the reason I'm not is because I want to know the quality of the item I'm getting. Just like right now, I am waiting for a swing to get here, for an outdoor swing. 
to get here. And I have no idea what I'm getting, how nice it is or how nice it's not. I have no idea. And I won't know until it gets here. And I don't like that, you guys. Because how do I know that I just didn't spend money on a bunch of junk? I just like to know what I'm getting. I like to feel what I'm getting. I like to look at it. I like to touch it. That's how I am at Christmas. I don't like to do any shopping online at Christmas time either. I'm just really funny like that. I am a in-store shopper, that's for sure. Thank you, Cynthia. Let's see what I'm paying for. Me too, Becky. I, I don't like, I just don't really, I'm not an online shopper. I never have been. And, and you know, my daughter, Whitney, now she would rather shop online. She can find anything online. You would not believe the things that she finds online. I'm like, my gosh, how did she find that? I would have never found that stuff. I don't even know what to, to search for. Most of the time, I'm like, I have no idea. Now, I do shop on Amazon some, but I am not a big Amazon person either, you guys. I do do it, but it's not because I like to. You do a lot of online? Now, see, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. See, I'm the same way, Teresa. I like to shop stores. I'm not a big internet shopper. I just never have been. Don't think I ever will be. What's the matter, Sissy? I'm going to pull that gold around front here to you guys, I think. I think that'll look better right there with that. The gold will. Kind of dab that with a little gold here. Kind of pull that into it. Okay, I think we're getting there, you guys. I think we're getting there, y'all. This is cute now. This is starting to really take shape. You, yes, you do tear up Amazon. I don't know how you guys do it. Because to be honest with you, Whitney, matter of fact, I got in her car today, okay? I went down there and met her at her house. We went and got in her car and we went to eat. I took all the girls out to eat and we went out to eat. And uh, we get in her car and she's got this phone holder. Really cool phone holder. I mean, the minute you put your phone up there, it just kind of grabs your phone and it it automatically starts charging your phone. I'm thinking, that's a nice phone thing. Oh, got it on Amazon. I said, how in the world do you even know what to look for when you're trying to find that kind of thing? I don't even know what to look for. But she's like, oh, I just ran into it. And I'm like, I don't see how you just run into those things. <laughs> Hi, Tammy, how are you? Hello, Connie. But I just, I just don't know how people do it. Hi, Sherry. I didn't do much online shopping either until I got to where it's hard to get around. I imagine that would probably make me have to do it. But to be honest with you, I just can't, I just can't get into it. I don't know why, y'all. I just don't know why. All right, you guys, what we're going to do, let me show you something here. This here is a little battery-operated candle. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can put this up in here like this. Like this. You can shut it. And then you can pull off the light. I'll show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it or not with the, you can see it in there. See it in there, y'all? There we go. You guys can see it. You can put your little candle in there. How fun is that, you guys? He's, oh, careful. He about fell over, y'all. See it? See that, you guys? Look how pretty that is. They can see it, baby. <laughs> Look, y'all. Isn't that cool? Spooky. And you can put you a candle in here and you can... I would uh, put a real candle. Display in there. it. No, I would not put a real candle. Put a fake candle, you guys. And you can display it. But y'all, I'm not done Sorry just yet. Sorry about the candle. Hold on, I'm not done camera. just yet. I'm about done, Kai. I know you're in a hurry here. Hold on, y'all. Let me pull this back out of here. Okay. We're gonna set this to the side, you guys, and I have this little stand. We're gonna use this. We're gonna paint this. And we're gonna make it match our little thing. And we're gonna put this on a little pedestal. Thank you guys. <laughs> Birdies are going to burn their little tail. Well, no, it's they left their light on. They left their light on. They're kind of like a... Bird Bodette. Yeah, I was getting ready to say a hotel or Motel 6. Is that what it is? Yeah, Motel 6 going to leave the light on for you? Bird Bodette. <laughs> but we're going to paint this the same color as that, you guys. It's so pretty. Birdies going to burn their tails. Jumping on like I'm late, says Carolyn. Hello, Carolyn. Very beautiful. We're just going to paint this the same color, you guys. What's that? What's what? It's oh, a little stand it. for our birdhouse. It's just something I picked up at a yard sale or wherever because I knew I'd need it. 
That's a bowl. It is not a bowl. Leave it black. It matches birds. It does match the birds, but y'all, I think it needs this right here. Too late gonna... now. <laughs> yeah, it's a little late now, y'all. A little late now. Where did you get those candles? Oh, those candles, you guys, I've had for a long time. I have some that are Luminara. Um, I'm trying to think where I got some of them at. Some, most of them I got at the Black Lion in uh, North Carolina. In North Carolina, you guys. I'm glad there's Lion. not Monroe. What's that? She said, I wish there was a Motel 6 at French Lake. <laughs> We'd be hurting. <laughs> yeah, but see, most people don't know we have to do that, babe. We then went to Dairy Queen Melba. Yeah, they did. I didn't. Oh, I ate a salad at Dairy Queen, you guys. I had a salad. They've got some good salads over there, you guys. They've got this salad. It's called the uh, chicken something. Chicken chunks or chicken something. chunk or chicken basket salad. I don't know, y'all. But anyway, it's a good salad. It's a really good salad. It's a. Uh, No bread, no breaded chicken. It's not breaded. It's really good. It's grilled. All right, let me let me dry this real quick, you guys. She's gonna dry it real quick, guys. Let me dry it. I'm getting my coffee. Okay, you get your coffee and I'll dry. Elizabeth, our our granddaughter that's with us is Ashley's daughter. She's no longer allowed to be on video because of people reaching out to her after the live and uh, her dad was not very happy about it. So I have friends who live in Bunker Hill, Indiana. Is that anywhere near me? Bunker Hill, yeah. Bunker Hill, Indiana. Oh, Indiana. Not okay, Bunker okay. Hill Road. Okay, well I hey, I, I was just excited, okay? I was excited. I don't even know where Bunker Hill Indiana is. I don't either. Look Let me babe. just look. Let's see where it's at. Look at Let that. Let me babe. just look here. Let me go to Google Earth and. You guys, I love this burlap color. This is such a pretty color. Bunker. Steel. And this is all Dixie Belle paint, you guys. Except for the red paint that I put on there, and that is posh uh, metallic paste from Would You Been? Bunker Hill is. About an hour and 45, about two hours from us. It's up by uh, Grissom Air Force Base. Oh, that's not too far then. We know where Grissom Air Force Base is. Where I wish my son was going instead of clean out in the middle of nowhere. That's all right. I hate him doing this again. Are you mad? I am too. Uh, not really, Colleen. Not really. Still having issues. We all are, though. Bill Payne has, oh, is Ryan still in the service? No, he's not in the service. He's not still in the service, Melva, but he's going back to work for the Navy. Good so he's going to be, work. he's going to do contract work for the Navy out of, uh, out of, um, uh, Reno, out of Reno. So I'm not happy about it. My heart's broke, you guys, but you know, he's got to do what he's got to do to be happy. And if that's going to make him happy, it's going to make me happy because he's my baby boy, so. And he's not a baby, y'all. <laughs> I just, I think he's a baby in my mind. Okay. Angelique. We're staying in a real nice play right on the river going to do me some trout fish. Okay. When we wish me good, Granny. All right. Good, good job, guys. Good luck. I'm going to put the glue on here. 
And I will probably take this back off. In Poland, not where she wants him to be. Yeah, Ryan was gone forever, you guys, with the Navy. And he came home, and I finally got my son back after not seeing him for five years. And then turn around, and he's going right back out there and doing the same thing. So this mother is not happy, but, you know, I, I want him to be happy. So that's yeah, what matters yeah. the most is his happiness. Well, she can't hear me. So. I've been young once, so it's his turn. He needs to be happy. He will be fine. I think he will be good for him. It will be good for him. It will be good for him, but it'll be bad for me. No. <laughs> Molly lives an hour from there. Oh, from where Ryan where is? You know, where... <gasps> Molly, we'll have to meet when we come out to visit Ryan. For sure, sister. For sure. I would love that, Miss Molly. Okay, you guys, look. That's our oh, little Gloria. stand. That's our little stand. Isn't it cute? What? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. Molly says yes, please. That would be awesome. I would love that. Okay, y'all, let me put a little gold around the bottom here, and then we're going to call it a day because there's somebody here going, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Who would that be, I wonder? Me. You? <laughs> well, here, then you come over here and do this. Uh-uh. Yeah, come on. I don't know how, mammal. I'm going through the same thing. My son having left me. Yes, I hate it, don't you, Monroe? I hate that. He's my baby. He's supposed to be around. He left me for all those years to go out there to the service, and I got him back, and now he's leaving me again. But that's what these girls do to these boys, I'm telling you. I told him, I said, I'm going to ask if there's anybody on my page that's young enough to date him, and I said, I'm going to make everybody... I said, I'm going to make a list, and I'm going to find him somebody. He was like, Mom, you better not. But the last time he was out there, he danced with this girl at this wedding. Her girl wants your attention. And, uh. Yeah, he's selling his house, Melba. He's going to be. He is selling his home. This little girl that he danced with out there, y'all, he got her number. So, I told him, I said, you cannot be uh, getting married or anything. I said, you have to come back home. He said, I can't promise that, Mom. I don't like it, y'all. Love what you're working on, says Gloria. Thank you, Miss Gloria. Yeah, Grissom's not too far from here. Greatest birdhouse ever, says Donna. Thank you, Miss Donna. All right, you guys. This isn't perfectly even, but... I think that's what they said about your last birdhouse at Salt They like birdhouses. My friends like my birdhouses. Guys, don't forget, tomorrow night, we won't be online. Tomorrow is private group. Yep. But I will be live tomorrow day. Okay. No, I didn't know. I'm just saying it's tomorrow. I'm usually live during the day on Thursdays, y'all. Those of you that don't know. All right, you guys. This isn't perfect, but it's perfect enough. There it is, y'all. There's our gold on the bottom, you guys. Yes, Elizabeth, she does. She does. If it was up to her, she'd be sitting here doing this herself right now. She actually helped me put the project together tonight, you guys. Her and I sat here for about a half an hour putting together, to putting the napkin and adding the colors to it, deciding how we were going to do it. That's why she was like, the gold on the top. <laughs> because she knew it was going to happen because we had already talked about it. But there's our sweet little birdhouse, you guys. Isn't it cute? I think it turned out adorable. It's got our little bees and our little birdies. All right, y'all. Let's say our prayer real quick. Give me a hand, Mr. Beck. You want to give me your hand? Father God, we come to you tonight, Lord. Father, we ask that you just be with our granddaughter as she leaves us tomorrow, Lord. I ask that you keep her safe. Father, I ask that you be with each and every one of our friends that are here tonight, Lord. I ask that you bless each and every one of them, Lord. Father, I ask those that are sick and need of a touch, Lord, I ask that you touch their bodies. Father, I ask you lead and guide the doctor's hands and just be with them, Lord, to help in the way that 
you know that they need to help. Father, I ask that you just be with each one of these people, Lord, and I ask that you keep them safe until they return tomorrow. Lord, we love you, and we thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Guys, have a blessed night. Thank you all for being here. Bye, guys. Love you all so much. See you tomorrow night. Bye, guys. Or tomorrow.